Alright, so this video is going out to my man, uh, Beat Freak, over at Through the Breach. Uh, he has a 100 sub contest, and, um, Krampus, what are you doing? Um, Krampus, get out of the camera for a sec. Uh, well, anyways, Beat Freak has a, a 100 sub contest, um, and he wanted to ask about our three favorite Malifaux miniatures. So, uh, Krampus, you're not a Malifaux miniature. Why are you still in frame? Um, Krampus, put the... There we go. Okay. So anyway, yeah. Uh, Beat Freak over at Through the Breach has uh, asked for our three favorite Malifaux miniatures. Krampus, I need you to focus. What are you doing? Krampus, I don't even think that's what we are were asked about, so I don't know. Okay, that's a little bit better. Um, but that's the wrong setup, Krampus. That's that's uh, Spawn Mother and Gups. Uh, that's that's faux Gups that you got there. Um, did, did you count that? That's not even. I, I I didn't even pick those as my three favorite, let alone five favorite. You know, those are five models, right? Those are five, five models there, Krampus. You just... Okay. Let's... You know what, Krampus? Hold on. Get out of the shot. I don't know. Quit screwing around. Um, let's, uh, let's shoot my three favorite uh, Malifaux miniatures while we talk about the channel for a second. Okay, so Krampus got us disqualified from the contest, but that's okay. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go through our three favorite models and talk about the channel. So, uh, one of the questions was, what do you like most about the Through the Breach channel? And for me, uh, it's got to be the battle reports. Um, these are battle reports that uh, maybe don't take themselves quite too seriously, so I really enjoy that. Kind of enjoy the, the humor uh, between uh, Beat Freak and Blog. Um, and the intros are always fun, so that's what I like most about the channel. Um, a suggestion for perhaps uh, improving the channel, if I may, would be, um, uh, besides uh, what my brother uh, said on his response, I would say uh, maybe look at uh, uh, some terrain options. You know, Malifaux is, uh, is a terrain intensive game, and so maybe spicing it up or looking at an alternate uh, table setup to use would make probably I think for some more interesting uh, battles and some interesting battle reports so that would be something uh, that I think would be cool and, and bring something new to the channel so without further ado let's talk about my three favorite models of Malifaux um, no thanks to Krampus there in the background so anyway num coming in at number three has got to be this young lady here let's see if we can get the uh, camera to focus on her Will it? Will it? Will it? No, uh, no. Hold on. I'm gonna have to do this manually. Oh, there she is. There she is. Okay. So this is my third favorite miniature. Uh, this is Miss Pack. Now she's a limited edition nurse, um, but just such a fantastic model. Uh, really simple. Uh, simple model, but uh, you know she's kind of endowed in the way I like. Um, and for me, you know, moving over to Malifaux was uh, an opportunity to paint things that you normally don't paint in uh, tabletop miniatures games, which tend to be more, you know, war focused. Uh, so you've got like, uh, for female characters, you may have like these really strong, uh, kind of amped out evil elf chicks, or you may have like these kind of manly ogre, o female ogre chicks, uh, but you never really get to paint just a nice attractive lady like uh, Miss Pack here. Now granted she's a demented nurse and nurses aren't particularly effective on the battlefield. I love this model so much that I, I field it anyway with my Rezzer Cruz um, and you know she's just a lot of fun so she comes in at number three for me. Number two is a model that I would field a l actually quite a bit more often than uh, Misdemeanor. And let me focus in on the guy here. That is Avatar Ramos. Now, if you don't know what Avatar Ramos can do, you probably haven't been watching my series rambling about Ramos. 
and the Avatar in particular is just such a cool model. Very just screaming steampunk. Uh, he's got the spidery legs and the uh, the sickles here. Uh, he changes the style of play from a typical Ramos crew, and I, I don't know. I just love the guy. He's a Doctor Octopus type of uh, homage, and just really fun. A lot of energy in that pose, and uh, overall cool model. So very fun to field, very fun to look at. Avatar Ramos coming in at number two. Now the much anticipated number one model uh, is a model that I might have painted. Uh, more than once. Uh, no, it's actually no. It's believe it or not, it's not Colette. I mean, I've painted her many times. Sorry, Colette. Um, very fun model as well. She was definitely in the running, and so uh, I had to just kind of throw her in there. But number one for me is actually Colette's understudy, Cassandra. So here's Cassandra here. Lovely model lovely model. I mean this is if you're gonna paint something different for uh, a miniature a tabletop miniatures game you know you're you want to paint something different. I mean an elegant beautiful lady in a dress with a, a clockwork uh, saber um, just spectacular and I just love this model um, not only do I love the model I love playing uh, this particular uh, minion on the field because you know she's not a henchman she she is a minion but she's got to be one of the most powerful most versatile minions in the game um, her understudy ability is a lot of fun uh, she's got a lot of cool rules like confident and celebrity and southern charm and uh, this model just screams character and just screams what I love about Malifo which is you know you don't need to uh, whack or kill all of the opponent's models to win and the Colette crew is really a, a prime example of a crew that can be extremely successful without doing that and uh, Cassandra is a key part of that so Cassandra's coming in at number one for me uh, let me put the three here and Krampus come on so I'm going to move Krampus and his folk ups and uh, we'll focus in on Three models. So the, those are the three favorite models of mine for Malifaux. Um, and yeah, I just can't say enough about these models. Really love them. Uh, really enjoy the rules, including for Miss Pack. Still love the nurse rules, even though, you know, not the most optimal miniature uh, on the board. Okay, so while I've got the camera out, I figured, uh, well, disqualified from the uh, contest anyway, I figured I would make a couple of plugs for my friends. Uh, first up is a new channel for Malifo um, called Bakersfield Malifo. Now this channel is run by our buddy the Nance uh, who is up north. He's one of the henchmen up in Bakersfield. I believe he is the henchman up in Bakersfield. And uh, his channel Bakersfield Malifo right now is showing some really interesting things. It's uh, it's really about Malifo being played in some really strange uh, locations. So, for example, his opening video was a battle report that was actually played outside in the snow. Uh, so that was interesting. And uh, his latest video right now is uh, uh, a mini game based on Malifo that he developed called Whack a Mole Man, uh, and he's playing that game with Tin Man XL up at a burger joint up in Bakersfield. So, Bakersfield Malifo. Definitely check him out. Subscribe to him. He's going to have some interesting things on that channel, and uh, definitely it, it's it's for you Malifaux fans. Now the other thing I wanted to plug was this guy, and uh, I know I promised you guys some updates on our buddy Gabe and his business with the laser cutting and MDF materials. And so uh, this is Gabe's latest work, um, and this is a prototype uh, paint station that uh, Gabe developed. Now you might have seen some paint stations in the past and I don't know if you're like me uh, you didn't use a paint station mainly because the size was too big and it was a little inconvenient and so forth um, but this one, I, I, I test drove this one last night uh, painting up uh, uh, an Alt Lilith and uh, it's just a great uh, great paint station 
um, it, it fits on a very narrow desk like uh, what I'm using here. Um, it's got spots for uh, your paints up top, your brushes, um, your rinse water. Uh, down below here, you've got a cubby hole where you can fit things like washes in there. You can fit your uh, uh, your palette. You can fit your uh, your brush cleaner down in there. Um, so this is just a really convenient product. And Gabe is con not only making new products like these, he's continually improving his existing line. Now, if you are interested in Gabe's products, uh, check him out on andialasercutting.com. And I'll put a link uh, in the description of this video for that. So that was it. Uh, contest, contest entry. Um, just wanted to thank... Uh, Beat Freak and uh, Through the Breach for hosting that contest. Uh, wanted to um, wish all of the entrants good luck. Uh, obviously, Krampus ruined my entry, but uh, you know I thought it was a, a fun contest and, and wanted to include my models anyway. And uh, please check out Bakersfield Malifo and AndiaLaserCutting.com. So that's it for this video. Uh, thanks for putting up with uh, Krampus and myself, and we'll catch you on the next one.